Man, what are the f chances? I'm literally working on a cyberpunk video right now. Possibly the longest video I've ever made. Talking about cyberpunk edge runners, and yes, I do enjoy it. Don't think I didn't see one or two snarky comments on that community post. And how much 2077 still disappoints me and how much it fails to adapt the cyberpunk 2020 tabletop game experience in video game form. But of course, as I'm working on this huge video, there's a massive CD Projekt Red announcement. And so, as you've likely heard, as the news is now going to be three days old at the time of uploading this, CD Projekt Red just announced they're working on five fucking new games. When they drop the ball so goddamn hard on 2077, they really think they can handle five games. Even if three out of five are in pre-production, I wouldn't trust them at this point. And I don't care what you think about Cyberpunk, if since the next gen update, it's a really great game guys, it's the game we always wanted. No it fucking isn't, but this isn't the video to break that down in detail. I've thought about it long and hard, but I am going to make that massive Cyberpunk critique. It's just not going to come out this year, but this next video will hold you over, it's over an hour and a half long. So just be patient, I'm not going to back up all my points in this video with evidence because that's literally what the next video is going to be about. So just hold back on the comments for a little bit. I don't think everybody who likes Cyberpunk 2077 has shit taste in video games or anything. It's not a bad game, it's just extremely disappointing. It was supposed to be an RPG, right? And obviously CDPR had never made an FPS before, so we couldn't really possibly know how they were going to handle it, but God, this is not really what any RPG fan wanted. And I just realized I haven't even covered what those five games are. So let's go over this really quick and I'll pretend that I started off the video with this. So we have Cyberpunk Orion, which many people believe to be the sequel to Cyberpunk. And there also seem to be rumors that the online project was completely canceled because they're also dropping the Red Engine and they're going to do Unreal Engine 5. I'm guessing their engine couldn't handle an online game, so they weren't even going to attempt to force it. Even though Destiny got away with having a shitty engine for online for like 8 years now. The second of the new games is Witcher 4, which is codenamed Polaris or Polaris. Not much to say here, we kind of already knew about this one. This is most likely going to be the next release from their studio. Then we have The Witcher Canis Majoris, which is apparently being developed by an external studio headed by experienced developers who've worked on CDPR's Witcher games in the past. Whatever that means, it's probably going to suck. How many times have external studios worked on properties that aren't their own and it sucked? It's happened so many times in the past 5 to 10 years. To just name a couple big ones off the top of my head, we have Dead Rising, which originally Dead Rising 2 was actually developed by the Canadian studio, and that was still a good game, but then 3 was pretty mediocre and then 4 was complete shit. The other major one being Mass Effect Andromeda, and god if you've never played that game, don't do it. It is a complete fucking waste of time. It adds so little to the Mass Effect universe, and all the characters suck, the writing is horrific, the animations are uncanny as fuck, which I'm sure all of you know, that was probably the most famous aspect of the game. And yes, I played it all the way through. Why did I do that to myself when I didn't even have a YouTube channel at the time? I don't fucking know. I knew it was going to be bad, but it was cheap, dude. I think I got it for 20 bucks just a month after release or something, and I was pretty bored. But anyway, the fourth game is The Witcher Sirius, which is being developed by The Molasses Flood. Never heard of them. And it's created with support by CDPR. Well, I already made my case with the last game about not having external development studios for your IPs, but whatever. And the big draw with this game is that it's going to have a multiplayer gameplay experience on top of the single player one. I have no idea what they have planned for multiplayer with Witcher, but honestly I don't care. Tacked on multiplayer never works out well. In fact, in modern gaming, most dedicated multiplayer games are disappointing people right now. So, I don't even have time to really play multiplayer games anymore. At least any of these live experience ones that you have to dedicate 8 hours a week just to keep up with or whatever the fuck. So yeah, I don't care. And of course, the final game is a new IP, Project Hadar. 
So not really anything to comment on here, seeing as they've done fantasy and now sci-fi. Maybe they'll try something more realistic, or maybe it'll be another highly stylized thing like steampunk. Who knows? They fucked up cyberpunk, so I don't really trust them with any other style over substance genres. The fact that it's making such a major comeback, to the point of having 100,000 active players on Steam a week or two ago now, and now has sold over 20 million copies, which I'll be honest is less than I thought it did. Suddenly everyone's pretending that it's an awesome game, but nothing has changed since launch. There have been very minimal improvements to the actual gameplay experience. 90% of the patches were just bug fixes, basically, even including overhauling the skill trees, because a lot of the skills didn't work or were cartoonishly overpowered, which I'll be honest, I kind of miss having overpowered skills and weapons. The game is actually a little bit less fun to play in the end game now. But hey, at least the game works. Regardless, very rarely am I nearly as disappointed as I was with this game. I've said it at least five times over the course of my short career on YouTube so far, but Fallout 4 is probably the only thing that comes in the same ballpark that I can think of off the top of my head because I just don't get hyped for new AAA releases, because almost everybody has betrayed us in some form or another. Before 2077, CDPR hadn't really done anything wrong. Now of course I'm not going to pretend the warning signs weren't there, they absolutely were. I just didn't want to believe them, to give you just a short reminder. One, the sudden involvement of Keanu Reeves, which many people believe is why the entire second and third acts were completely different from the first act. In fact, it really just in general feels like a completely different game than the first act, which again I talk about in detail in my new video that's coming out next week. Mysteriously changing the game genre on their Twitter page from RPG to action adventure shortly after that second E3 presentation. Another big one was having all the Night City wires focus on superficial aspects of the game like clothing styles or the driving which turned out to be shit. And also the fact that the thermal katana still isn't in the fucking game, how have they not put it in? Have people just forgotten about this? Am I the only one that remembers that that was displayed in the fucking weapon showcase? How hard is it to just have a katana with a glowing red edge? And you get the point, I don't need to cover all of these. The fact that they've announced five new fucking games, all that tells me is they want to get their stock price back up because it fucking collapsed after the release of the game. And this is really just the fate of any publicly traded company. As soon as investors get their grubby mitts in the decision making of your company, especially since these motherfuckers don't know anything about video games, they shouldn't be making any decisions, I don't give a fuck how much money you're putting in, that doesn't fucking matter, you don't know what you're talking about. You shouldn't get a fucking say, but you know, this is reality, can't really do anything about it, I can scream into the wind, it's not gonna change anything. So I have no hope for any of CDPR's future projects. Why would I? And why would you? Just look at Cyberpunk 2077, man. They released an objectively incomplete game. And it took them over a year to fix that fucking game. And even now, it's not even that good. And people are going to be hyped for future projects? Are you fucking kidding me? Gamers get what they fucking deserve. I'm going to be honest, dude. People say I hate video games, but the truth is, I love video games far more than you ever will. And that's why I'm so cynical. You don't give a flying fuck about this industry. I'm the one who's passionate and actually cares about the quality of the product, the creative vision, which is why I'm so constantly angry in these videos. You fucking Zoomers have never played a goddamn good game in your life. Okay, deep breaths. That was a bit too much hyperbole, even for me, but I think you get the point. Thanks for watching. Do the things the algorithm likes. And look, I know it's been like a month since Edge Runners came out, or at least it will be by the time that video releases, but I'm begging you to check out the new video. I think most of you will, because quite a lot of you like to hear me complain about Cyberpunk for whatever reason. But I probably put in more work into this video than any other video I've ever made, so hopefully you enjoy it. It will most likely release Thursday, so if for whatever reason you don't get notifications or it doesn't appear in your subscription box, you'll know when to check my channel, I guess, and I'll put up a community post as usual. 
And if you're curious, yes, I did see the Mario movie trailer. I didn't really have much to say on it, other than Chris Pratt isn't even trying to do an Italian accent, which is very obnoxious, and I doubt Charlie Day will be doing one either. And I don't know, it just kind of looks generic, which I didn't expect much from Illumination anyway. That's about it. See you next time, guys.